FTA, what's going on? Derek Roddy here. Been a few months since we've last seen each other. Hope everybody's doing well through all the craziness that the world has provided for us in 2020. <laughs> so, uh, look, the big man hit me about doing some type of uh, hand technique tutorial. I've never been a drummer that worried about any of this stuff, how I was playing something. I was always more concerned about how what I was playing sounded. So every bit of technique that I learned through my playing came from trying to search for an identity, trying to search for something that sounded like Derek Roddy. This is why I haven't ever spent much time being concerned about if my hands look the same, I was only concerned about whether they sound the way I wanted them to. And I'm not even talking about even having the hands sound the same because sometimes you might want something different out of, say, this ride cymbal, okay? There are times when I'll play this ride cymbal with fingers, right? Like if I was playing the beginning of, say, Jesus Saves or one of the Slayer songs with a lot of, you know, ride stuff. Okay, that's fine, right? But if I'm playing a blast beat, I, I don't typically use my fingers. Typically, I play the way I would play my left hand, which is palms down, thumbs to the side, using mostly wrist. So when I play a blast beat, it looks more like this. And it sounds a lot different, too. That difference really creates a lot of conviction, okay? So typically when you start talking about playing single stroke rolls on a pad, you know, it looks like this for most people. Or, see, I'm not even a fingers guy. I can barely even do that, right? This to me sounds much better. It sounds better to me then. Okay? Now, I'm not saying that you can't play harder using fingers, you can, but at a certain point, you start losing the velocity. Okay? So, something very important to me is to have a nice, solid stroke. Now, this has nothing to do with stick height. I hear a lot of people say all the time, oh man, he plays with such stick height, but that really doesn't matter. Stick height is not, you know, the be all end all to playing hard. Playing hard, you shouldn't start up. You're not going to be starting up here. You know, when you say you need to play harder, people think they need to start up here. So one of the things that I want to show you guys today that I think is helpful and it's always helped me is to play as hard as you can with very little stick height. Right? So I'll give you an example. Starting at about four feet inches, four, six inches above your surface. Try to hit that thing as hard as you can, right? I'm hitting that thing just as hard as I was playing up here, right? So don't worry about the stick height. Worry about your velocity. Worry about, uh, you know, like with a whip, right? Zorro. It's kind of the idea, right? Like you want the force to come in at the last few inches of your stroke. So yeah, you can start up here, but you still should be playing with some type of force, okay? For me personally, it makes the biggest difference in the world of how... Do you want to know how you can watch this full lesson? 
just sign up at www.drumtechniqueacademy.net. Drumming, as you know, is a lot like gravity. All it takes is a little push. <laughs>